Welcome back in. Great to have you here on WKYT as our new news hour continues. This weekend marks the 33rd year for the annual Midsummer Night's Run. And it is happening downtown on Saturday. It's here. Dr. Lucy Walks and Mackenzie Deering are here to tell us more about it. And this fellow over here, <laughs> Mr. Shakespeare himself. Yeah, Bill Shakespeare with us there. <laughs> Good to see you. This really has been uh, become known as a great family outing, isn't it? Tell us about the event. Yeah, so there's something for everybody with the fastest kid in town at 430 and then at 630 we have the one mile fun run and walk and at 8 p.m. is the 5k um, and it's the only nighttime 5k race so it's really something for everyone there's live entertainment and food vendors something for everyone whether they're interested in running or not and uh, Dr. Walks tell us about your, your involvement this year and uh, sure. what you're hoping to see happen Absolutely. Well, the community has been so supportive of our practice, so we're thrilled to be a part of this event and really have a chance to give back. Particularly with the fastest kid in town, we have a lot of patients that come to our office that are running in this race and a lot of family members that run in the adult race at night. So we'll be downtown with the vendor, vendor city in the vendor area, mm -hmm. um, giving out some orthodontic treatment certificates. So we'll have some drawings for that. And maybe counting how many patients <laughs> go by. Exactly. I'm sure that with that family orientation, you're going to see a lot of people down there. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's fun, you know, the, the fastest kid in town race and all of that. Uh, for those who uh, want to get involved, what should they be doing right now if they have not registered? Yeah, so they still can register online at a midsummer5k.com or they can, we will be at John's Run Walk Shop tonight. They can register in person from 4 to 7 at John's and tomorrow night as well. All day tomorrow we are at John's from 10 to 7 and they um, can register on site on Saturday, but there is a $5 increase on site. You know, there are a lot of races out there now. This is a, a town that embraces this very much, but what do you think it is about this race that makes it special? I think, think because of the family orientation that it is, it's so family involved and in, um, all about the community and that there is something for everyone, whether um, they want to walk or run or just be a part of the whole entertainment. And it is the only night race in Lexington, which is another fun A, a fun addition. element. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And carries out the theme very well for Baptist Health, which of course is yes. to get folks up and moving and, uh, and do those uh, preventative things, right? Exactly, right. definitely. Um, definitely goes with everything that um, they believe in and what they're trying to put out there as well. Wonderful. Well, good luck with the race. Thank hope, you. I hope Thank the you. weather is perfect for it. Yes. Fingers crossed here. Right, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. But I know it'll be a great time. <laughs> and a midsummer. Will has the fingers crossed. There you go. Midsummer5k.com for more information about the race. Thanks for being here.